Hello traders, FS Pickletta here. Today is Friday, October 25th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpickletta.com, if you'd like to get access to my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course are included for only $30 per month. So the dollar CAD, just like other dollar pairs, had, has been very strong. Or if you're talking about these pairs, obviously very weak. Now this easily, easily could just keep on going up, making new highs. But I still think it does look like it possibly might end up going down to make a wave C or B. Either way, I don't really care because I'm just going with the flow on sort of time frames in a ways. Going down to the weekly. Now I still have a feeling that this is a five-way pattern down for A. Still looks like a very clear three waves of B, and I still think it looks like it could do a one, two, three, four, five of wave C, which would be a C of B. Now, I think this is what's going to happen, but that doesn't mean that's what's going to happen, and I should be looking for logs that sort of time frames, and if it just keeps on going up, then that should be not really too much of an issue. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, the reason why I still think this could be a wave 2 is because it looks like an expanding fly. It looks like 3 waves up, 3 waves down. Now it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 waves up. So it definitely fits the characteristics of an expanding fly, but for me to believe that that is true, I need to see a nice clear break of stretcher on a little bit of a sort of time frame to believe that this wave 2 is over. Otherwise, no break of stretcher, you should be looking for longs in an uptrend. Going down to the 4 hour time frame, I think we can move our stretcher level up to here now, which is good news for us because now a break of this stretcher should prove that this whole move up is over and it definitely looks like 5 waves, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, so definitely looks like 5 waves. If we get a break of stretcher, which honestly this break of stretcher right here is what's really going to confirm, but hopefully if this break of stretcher should help confirm also. So if we get a break of stretcher, we're going to start looking for sorts and hopefully it's going to be the end of a wave 2 and the beginning of a wave 3. So let's take it down to the 1 hour time frame. So since we do not have that break of stretcher, I definitely would still be looking for logs in an uptrend. Actually, the best thing to do would be put your Fibonacci retracement on this move up right here, the last impulse to move up. Look for a three-way pullback. Look for a Fibonacci bounce. Look for an engulfing move up. If you see one, two, three waves down to any one of these Fib levels and a nice impulse to move up, I personally think that you need to continue to look for logs. We have no evidence that this trend is over on the higher time frames. It could just easily, easily just keep on going. On the other hand, if it goes down and breaks Strutzer, that's when we need to turn into a seller and start looking for sorts. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.